click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, today we'll be dealing with another type of application of diode that is nothing but clamper circuit. Rather clamper circuit is nothing but the circuit which is used to clamp the input signal towards positive side or negative side without changing the shape of the input signal. So let's study the clamper circuit in detail. we will write the definition because that is very important as far as exam box is concerned So the circuit which is used to change the voltage level of the input signal without changing the shape and peak to peak value of the input signal and that is called as clamper circuit. As far as classification is concerned we have only two types of clamper circuit. One is positive clamper and another is negative clamper. So let us study positive and negative clamper in detail. This clamper circuit, we are using this clamper circuit along with one another passive component that is capacitor. So capacitor plus diode that will give you the clamper circuit. Let us study one by one. First of all, we will study the negative clamper. The same fashion we will be using positive half cycle, the same way we will be using the operation of the circuit, one is positive half cycle and another is negative half cycle. So first of all we will go for positive half cycle. In the positive half cycle I know that this input voltage is leading to charge this capacitor C with the direction positive and negative. So in the positive half cycle we will draw the separate diagram that is capacitor is charging in the positive and negative direction. What about the diode? Obviously this diode will become forward bias. So in the positive half cycle diode D is forward bias right as diode D is forward bias ideally it is short circuited as ideally it is short circuited then I can say that what will be the value of VO VO is equal to 0 volts so for positive half cycle I am getting VO is equal to 0 volts but hold on at the same time the capacitor is charging so we will say that capacitor charges to up to which value that capacitor will charge the capacitor will charge up to the maximum value of the input signal let us consider the input signal is in square wave and the value of this square wave is vm and minus vm right so capacitor will have the value of voltage across it is nothing but vm that is maximum positive value capacitor will have the voltage across it is the maximum positive value that is vm so we'll say capacitor charges to vm right now just before the negative half cycle I will be having the voltage VC is equal to Vm right. So I will I'll again make a box for VC is equal to Vm. Now when I will change this here I will make it as ideally short circuit. So we will be getting VO is equal to 0 volt and this Vc is equal to Vm. Okay, 
vi in the positive half cycle let us move to the next step of operation that is negative half cycle now in the negative half cycle just before negative half cycle we will say just before negative half cycle we have vc is equal to vm right and that is giving me the voltage across the capacitor that is vm okay and now i have changed the polarity of the input voltage as well that is this is nothing but the input voltage right and as i am considering the input voltage is in square wave what will happen this value is vm maximum this value is already vm maximum charged value then what will happen as this value is negative negative vm negative vm voltage across diode voltage across diode is negative that means the anode voltage is negative with respect to cathode so diode d will become reverse bias as diode d will become reverse bias then output voltage has to follow that input voltage plus this vm so i can say this is open circuit right I'll write it over here open circuit ideally if it is open circuit then now calculate the value of vo i will just apply the kvl right just by applying kvl what will be the output voltage vo is equal to vi plus vc what is the value of vi vi is equal to minus vm and what is the value of vc if we take this particular direction then it will be also minus vm so we can say that the value of vo is equal to minus twice of vm so this is the output voltage that i will be getting in the negative half cycle in the combined way is it possible to get the combined waveform with positive and negative half cycle yes is it possible then we will go for it to plot the positive and negative output waveform So here we have taken square wave input signal into consideration and accordingly will form the output signal and the positive half cycle we have got the zero output. So positive half cycle will give me zero output and the negative half cycle is giving me twice of the peak value of the input signal so, but at the negative side so we can say that this is the output value in the negative half cycle and this is nothing but minus 2 into vm <coughs> this is 0 volt now just compare the input signal and the output signal can i say that this is complete input signal is shifted towards the negative side that means I just have changed the voltage level of the input signal so reference voltage level of the input output signal is now minus Vm so it is towards the negative side and that's why it is called as negative clamper so input signal is clamped towards the negative side without changing peak to peak voltage of the input signal see here peak to peak voltage input signal is nothing but twice of vm and here as well we are getting twice of vm peak to peak voltage also i have never changed the nature of the signal 
so nature and peak to peak value of the signal is same and that's why it is called as negative clamper hope you all have got this complete concept clear with negative clamper now we will go for the positive clamper In the positive clamper, we'll have to again discuss in positive and negative half cycle. Just I have changed the orientation of diode is different than that of your negative clamper. Just I have changed the orientation of the okay. Now with the change in orientation, we'll be getting clamping towards the positive side. We are getting positive half cycle let us study positive half cycle what will happen in a positive half cycle this is positive so capacitor again will charge will it charge no it will not charge this is because the diode is not allowing the capacitor to charge this is because I am not getting the complete loop with diode because diode is in reverse bias so we will say here in the positive half cycle diode D is in reverse bias we will say it is open circuit right as it is open circuit ideally we will say your output voltage is nothing but Vi now here we will assume that the capacitor is already charged in this particular direction right so we'll make a statement that assume that capacitor already completely charged in given direction or polarity I can say so in the given polarity if the capacitor is already charged and I know that your peak value of Vi is Vm then what will be the output voltage output voltage will become Vi plus Vc <coughs> and that is nothing but Vm plus Vm okay and that is giving me the value 2Vm so Vo will become 2Vm when I am having the voltage Vo in positive half cycle when diode D is reverse bias <coughs> let's go for the next operation that is negative half cycle now in negative half cycle diode D is in forward bias so diode D is in forward bias as diode D is in forward bias it will be short circuit if it is short circuit I will say it's ideally it completes the circuit and your value VO is nothing but the voltage across the diode that is nothing but 0 volts so output voltage VO is equal to 0 for the negative half cycle and your value <coughs> of VO is equal to 0 volts. See the fact that what will happen in the negative half cycle about the capacitor. As this diode is in short circuit form, this completes the loop in between VI, C and D. So capacitor will try to discharge, right? So capacitor will try to discharge and your value of the voltage across capacitor will again change towards the negative side. Now it will be minus V, C. And then we'll again in the positive half cycle will be getting the voltage across capacitor which is in exactly opposite polarity which is shown here in this particular direction.
so positive and negative half cycle will go on in a continuous manner so for positive half cycle capacitor gets charged in this particular direction for negative half cycle capacitor get discharged and again cap capacitor will get charged in the positive half cycle direction so graphical manner of this complete operation i will draw and then we'll get a clear idea about the operation of this positive clamp when i am saying that this is positive half cycle for positive half cycle we are getting 2 vm as your output voltage so this is your output voltage this is your input voltage 2 vm is a peak value 0 volts is your negative half cycle value so i am not at all changing the peak to peak value as well as the nature of the input signal rather than that i am just changing the voltage level that is the reference level as towards the positive side that's why it is called as positive clamper hope you all have got the clear idea about positive as well as negative clamper so we we'll stop here in the next videos we will learn the numericals based on clippers and clampers and diode circuit so stay tuned for that learn more and more edc along with me along with ikeda videos thank you so much